Hey, Spuddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Terraformers The Red Planet Awaits. Terraformers is a terraforming Mars style game. Well, but when, when I say that, I don't mean it's like the board game. What I mean is basically you're terraforming Mars, right? It's all about your 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 settling Mars. And you got a whole bunch of resources, a whole bunch of stuff. Now, we're going to go ahead and play on Insane Difficulty, I believe it's called. Or, uh, yes, this is Insane Difficulty. And we'll be doing the Red Planet of the Weight so that I can show off the game. I've only, I, I, I've played this game quite a bit, but I think they did a progress reset at some point. There's like a mastery level. But I think this will be the hardest run that I've ever attempted. So there will be quite a lot of explanation I'll have to do, and I'll actually have to think a little bit more carefully. In the earlier levels, you can kind of get by by just making short-term optimal decisions. In these higher, more difficult categories, it's gonna require a little bit of forethinking. Now, when the game initially starts, you do get to pick between three starting conditions. You can start with a balanced portfolio of power, food, water, and titanium, a space-based portfolio where you focus on orbital space projects, and a life-focused opening where you focus on um, spreading life forms. I think I like the idea of maybe a balanced or a space-based project. I tend to play balanced pretty often, so it is quite tempting to go for a space-based project here um, but I don't really know what the strategy would be here um, but I'll go ahead and give a space-based opener an attempt. Now we start here on the planet of Mars. Welcome to Mars. We have one little settlement here, Catena Junction. It has no population has absolutely nothing in it and we have a few decisions that we need to make. The very first decision we're probably going to want to make is to actually pick our leader. Now these leaders have short-term and long-term effects. In the short-term, the leader will give you three abilities. So for example here, Lena Cortez here, she is an expertise in culture. She will give me the explore action, which will allow me to explore the surface of Mars. She will give me cultural festivals, which will allow me to gain water and support. Sorry, allow me to spend water and to gain support. She also has the local art gallery, which allows me to play a free building into a city that provides extra support per turn. We'll talk a little bit about support later. She also has the happiness leads to creativity. If you have 800 or more total support, you gain plus one research project suggestion and plus one project research per turn, and you'll be able to support two extra projects. This is a permanent effect. She will give you this forever. On the other hand, Thomas Foster, he explores... He also allows us to mine extra resources from deposits at the cost of energy. And he also allows us to build a supply station. He will provide us with the silicate boost specialization. So every time we produce three silicates, we will get an increase in our production by one. Um, effectively, this means you get 33% more silicate income, which is quite nice. I definitely feel like I like the idea of exploration and industrialization. So I'm going to take Thomas Foster here as my leader. Now, there's a whole bunch of stuff that's going on in the UI. I'm going to very briefly go over it. Support is your health. The higher your support is, the safer you are from losing the game. Your goal is to increase your support income because that will directly lead to score. Our goal is to get 800 score. If we get 800 score, we will win the game. We gain score by increasing our support income, by researching uh, technologies, by increasing our income and, and terraforming the planet. Over here on the right side, you can see the various terraforming objectives. You've got temperature, you've got oxygen, you've got water, and you've got atmosphere. So we want to do all of those things. Here's a list of all the things that are going on and all the possible you know, zones. Not really important. Uh, the very first thing that we're going to do is to build ourselves the headquarters of this town. Now, adjacency is quite important to this game. So I'm going to go ahead and place my headquarters here because then I can place a happiness building here and then another two houses and that would hit three buildings. Now, my main objective here is to get this orbital ring online, which will require me to use trade routes. I'm going to go ahead and start pumping two uranium or, or tritium per turn into this. So I'm going to need to find at least two tritium per turn to maintain this and in 11 turns I will finish this orbital ring which will give me a whole bunch of extra trade routes and every time I complete five new space projects I'll get an extra power. So this will just set me up really well in the long run if I can get this complete. Now how the hell am I going to get tritium? Well you can see here you see these question marks if I use the explore action and I explore these question marks I will get some of the resources that are listed above it based on the size of the resource icon. So you can see I got mostly tritium but I got a little bit of silicates and a little bit of titanium. It's fantastic. You can only do one leader action per turn so you're very limited in actions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop in here and I will build a habitation module and I will plonk it right there. This will allow me to actually expand my city. You can see here and I can claim this tritium deposit 
and instantly build a mine on it. And now I'm gaining one tritium per turn, which means I'm going to very easily be able to feed this orbital ring because I only now I only need to find one extra tritium per turn to maintain it. Now, here's the thing. I could pick up a tritium thermo generator, which would give me plus one power per turn. And that's actually really damn good. But I would need to find more tritium to sustain this. Plus one power per turn would be fantastic at this phase of the game. This is the research, research phase of the game. You get to pick a project that you can try to build in your cities. A good one would be to go for the greenhouse farm, but I do like the idea of going for electricity here, as this would allow me to do uh, a lot of really good power. But I think my tritium requirements is just a little bit too high, so it would be really good to get a laboratory early, um, but it would also be really nice to get a greenhouse farm. So I think I'm going to prioritize growing food if I can, Actually, you know what? Here's the thing. I'm going to get the tritium thermo generator, and here's why. Because I'm playing Thomas Foster, and he can just harvest extra tritium from this mine. Which means I can play this thermo generator without any risk. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to play it over here, just in case I want to do adjacency stuff. And now we're generating plus one power per turn. Now remember, exploring costs power. A lot of our actions are going to cost power, so it's important to get that. So you have the X Mars fo Foundation. We can get a laboratory for plus one science. We can get a habitation module for 30 food, or we can get another tritium thermo generator. I actually like the idea of another tritium thermo generator. This actually kind of works and I can get another one. Oh my God, I can go like super early hardcore power here. I'm going to do an explore action here, get three tritium, and then I'll go to the next turn. So I'm, I, this is not what I had been planning. Oh, excellent. Earth has established a permanent trade route with us. That is really fantastic. Now I could get a bus station, which would allow us to expand our city twice and it would also reduce the negative support per turn of distant locations by one and um, there's laboratories there's habitation modules let me just have a little bit of a think about what i want to do this turn i definitely feel like the correct move here is to mine a resource like this tritium again and then come into the city and play another tritium mine so that i can get that electricity uh power going and then what I can do is I can start exporting that electricity and then based on what I want to try to build here I can start importing something else for example maybe I want to get a laboratory now uh, so I'm going to start importing a little bit of a little bit of nitrates to try and get the resources for this so this is how you start to like rebalance your economy with trade routes let's go to the next turn I won't be able to build a soil factory for a very long time um, the brine extractor I'm probably never going to build and windmills would be quite nice. I, I'm tempted to go for the windmills. It's quite expensive in terms of titanium, but that wouldn't really bother me. Let's go ahead and explore for titanium, gain that. Um, looks like we found a mineral cave that we can turn into a titanium mine or a natural heritage site. Yeah, with all this titanium I have now, I'm going to take the windmills because I will be able to build it. And that'll be another plus one power per turn. We have put eight of the tritium into the orbital ring now, which is fantastic. Boom. Excellent, we just gained a new orbital project, the Exploration Satellite. This will allow us to explore a tile at will once every three turns, I believe, at no cost. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take the Robot Hub. The Robot Hub is essentially like a population building, except robots do not provide comfort of living. So essentially, the happier you make your people, the better the resources, like the, the more support you get from them, which is great, but... Um, it's kind of hard to get the resources to feed people, whereas robots are quite easy to feed and acquire. So hopefully you can see the trade-off between the two. I'm going to go ahead and do another explore action all the way over here. It's 20 support, and we found a, a supply pod with 10 food, so we need to find two more of those, or one more of those, and we can either found a new city or gain a gain a new population building. So I'm really trying to explore for tritium, but I really need to make sure I have enough tritium so I can build this third tritium thermo generator i've never had a start that that's actually had this level of like positivity now the expectations on our settlement have increased so now we're losing eight support per turn so we're gonna have to start trying to bring that up i'm okay with that because i do have plans when the time comes to try and increase that let's come in here i'm gonna go ahead and play the android hub or the robot hub rather and i'm gonna claim this tile and i will be putting a windmill there I'm going to save my other expansion spot. Let's go ahead and see what we could research. Now, this is the perfect kind of building, the resonance station. Adjacent power buildings produce plus one power per turn. This would be an amazing thing for me to save up for, and I am going to start saving up for it. Now, let's grab these eco homes. I think, yeah, if I put the power building here, I put a science building here. I could take the science adjacency building. That's a lot of, uh, that would be a very silicate heavy economy. I'm just going to go ahead and take plus one science instead of researching a project this turn because I'm a little bit constrained. 
Um, I definitely need more tritium. So I'm going to try to explore and get in, gain at least one tritium per turn so that we can continue to feed this project. Let's go to the next turn. You can expand, but I don't want to. Now, we get a technological advancement. We can gain a self-learning AI, which will increase our science production by plus one science for every five science we start producing. We can gain nanotube water facilities, which will give you one water income per ocean level AI increase, or automated scientific archive, which makes all technologies cost 25% less science. I personally like the idea of the 25% less science, so I'm going to go ahead and take that. Now, what is this? This is a courthouse. It provides plus two comfort of living in a city. That would be a nice building for me to get, uh, especially because my support is so low. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. Uh, let's do an exploration satellite adjacent to my city. We did find a silicate deposit, which is fantastic. Let's immediately claim that silicate deposit because we need a ton of silicates to make the resonance station. I am going to come into my city here and I'm going to play the laboratory. That'll get me plus one science per turn. You can see my income is now slowly starting to come up. I'm going to stop importing nitrates and I'm, st I'm going to start importing silica because I need to get to the resonance station. And then I'm going to focus exploring towards silica. No, I'm going to explore here, gain food. We found a gigantic aquifer and then it would be kind of nice to drop a supply station somewhere. Probably over here, honestly. No, it's not very good. We do have 30 food in the bank, which is very nice. Let us go to the next turn. So we could get a laboratory again, and I would like that. We can get a landing pad, which would give us another trade route, or we could get a robot hub. All of those things seem quite good. I do like the idea of getting another tech building. Um, that would be really handy. So I'm going to take the laboratory here. However, my focus is on getting this resonance station going. I could play a supply station, which would make exploring slightly easier. The big thing that I need to explore for is I need to look for silicates. It's a little bit of silicate here, so I'll explore that spot. There's six water, two silicates and three signs. Perfect. I don't know why I claimed this. I don't remember why, but I did. And I feel a little bit silly. I think I was going to build the windmills there. All right, let's go to the next turn. And my leader will retire. Every 10 turns, your leader will retire. So I'm going to come in here. Thomas Foster is gone. We do get to keep a specialization, but now we have to choose between Jorge Dromedo, who has the explore action, has the earthworks action, and the modular apartments action. He also provides rural constructions. Or we can grab Alex Madiba, who is a farmer. And I think I kind of need the farmer right now. Uh, he will explore, provide food, or convert water into oceans. We could do a really early ocean move here, which would open up a lot of opportunities for us in the long term. So for example, for 12 electricity, we could turn this in. We could basically add one ocean level to Mars right now, if I click this. Now, the downside is this will actually reduce the availability of the surface of Mars. But I think this is actually a reasonable thing to do because this will increase the rainfall and the flooding of the planet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. It'll give me 100 support, plus one rainfall in all zones, and that's going to be important. The rainfall is going to be really important when it comes to um, spreading life on Mars. So you can see we have a little bit of a polar ice cap up here, a little bit of polar, a little bit of water, not much water, right? By any stretch of the imagination, but enough water to make the planet uh, slightly more habitable. So I think that was a pretty good move on my part. Now, we can go ahead and research a project. We have a choice between getting a igloo or a greenhouse farm. I think the thing I would really like to do is to settle a new city. So I think I'd like to explore this location and drop a city here. Even though it's not a super optimal city, it would open up new options for me. Um, particularly if I could start growing my own food with greenhouse farms, which is something I definitely want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that greenhouse farm and I'll end my turn. So we get to get sector investment. We can produce titanium, tritium, water again, or food, science, and power again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do mining industry. I definitely need the entertainment center. That's going to be very useful long term. Uh, and we can actually now enable the orbital ring. Boom. Which will bring me up to six trade routes, which is kind of absurd this early into the game. It's going to allow me to rebalance my economy incredibly well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and explore. Well, do I want to explore that tile? I don't want to make food. I'll explore this tile. I will found. Do I want to found a city here? Yes. I'm going to go ahead and found a city right here. Choyer Junction found. I'll put the city there. Um, we do need to get rid of these rocks eventually. And then I'll start maybe farming food. Well, exploring would be really nice if I could get a little bit more minerals and food. Yeah, I think exploring is the move. Uh, particularly, like, I've got locations that are really close to me. There's a little bit of food as well. Perfect. That was super worth it. Yeah, I think tech-wise, we're going to research... We're going to take the entertainment center. I'll take this and I will play it in this city because it will provide me with six support per turn, which will provide me with a little bit of score, but more importantly, it'll slow down the bleed up here. And that's going to be something we're going to be fighting against constantly. Now, at Choyer Junction, we do have fertile soil here. 
So I am going to go ahead and play my greenhouse farm on this tile and it'll produce two food instead of one. So that's a pretty nice upgrade. We also finally have 22 silicates, which means if I play this here, I'm going to get another three energy per turn. And with six trade routes, I could completely export all of that energy and change it into whatever I need. So for example, if I do this, I will be able to build another laboratory in, in two turns. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to export all my energy, import nitrates and silicates. We could build an oxygen factory. I do think that development centers are really important to get online early. While I do like the habitation module, I think the development center is really important because it allows me to research extra projects, but more importantly, I can actually hold more projects in my hand. So I'm going to take that development center for the long-term return on investment. I'm going to stop importing these. Um, it would be kind of nice to get another windmill, I think. So I'm going to import two titanium this turn, and I would love to get this development center online. So I think importing a ton of science to get towards that would be really good. Now, I already have a little bit of power that I can spend this turn. I think I can spend two safely. So I'll spend it over here and get those silicates. And actually getting that silicates means we can do stuff. Oh, whoa, what's this? So I can get this lady, self-sufficiency. The pioneer of an early expedition was found alone in her base. So she has the explore action, the science action, the farm action, or the energy action, or the mine resources. Um... I'm going to give her a hero's welcome, take that 75, because I actually like Alex. Even though she's technically better, I'm going to keep Alex. Actually, if I take her, this gives me a lot of flexibility. I'm going to take her. Camilla Williams will be really handy here. Now, this actually means that we can build the science building this turn, which will give us that extra little chunk of science um, and push us in the direction we need to. So let's end the turn. Ah, finally. So we can start thinking about what kind of bacteria we want to spread. Now, do I want to focus on increasing the atmosphere? or the heat. So by increasing the temperature of the planet, we will get a boost of comfort of living. Comfort of living is basically how you, the higher your comfort of living, the more support you get per population on the planet. Atmosphere, on the other hand, also provides comfort of living. So do I want to get Dinonacus, Dinococcus, two atmosphere per turn, or plus one heat per turn? These have a minimum temperature of zero, whereas these have a minimum temperature of minus one. So I think the minus one might be a little bit better. It'll be easier to spread because if I take a look at my zones, yeah, very few. Yeah, I think I think I need to bring up the temperature of Mars first. So that will inform my decision. I will take the temperature bacteria first. And now I need I now I need a ton of science. So I could choose to just spam science projects right now on her. The entertainment center would be nice as well to grab for that other city. And I will. Choyer Junction, I'll play the entertainment center. Now I don't have enough power to... Oh, I do. I do have enough power to expend. Yeah, I'd like to get this bacteria spreader down as fast as possible. So I'm going to do field research and then I will allow the turn to play. Plus one science per three robots. There's a landing pad. Those are very useful. That's another trade route. Um, actually, is that what I want? I don't think it is. I think I'm just going to I'm going to wait on that decision. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a bacteria spreader over here. Then I'm going to start spreading bacteria. I can't play it in lower Noctanus. The zone is too cold, but I can play it up here and here and I will. And so we have just now spread life to Mars, which will give us support per turn and also start slowly terraforming the planet, which is the main goal here. I really want to play the development center. So I may spam science here to try and get that out ASAP. Yeah, the big thing is just I need so much science. I do think the landing pad is the best choice here. I need to stop importing um, titanium and I need to start importing more science. I think if I do that, I'll be able to play the development center next turn. So let's go ahead and do a science click. Come over to Chori Junction and I will play the development center over here. So that will mean now if I pass my turn, I'll actually get two science, which is probably what I'm going to do because I'm going to try to play this soon. Maybe I could play the courthouse in Katana Junction. It's not bad. It does use up an important food resource, but I do think four support per turn is pretty good, especially if I put more pop in there. That's actually going to end up being really useful. It would be nice to get the Marsha here. So that's what I'm going to work on. And then I'm going to fully import food. I don't have a use for tritium or silicates right now, so I'm going to export them. Nor do I have a use for science, but I do have a use for energy. So I'm going to try to make sure that I'm not exporting too much energy um, because it's good to have energy to explore and do certain actions. So I'm going to go ahead and see where we stand. It would be nice to get a CO2 factory. It provides atmosphere and energy. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. We'll go to the next turn. So now we're going up to minus 20 support income. So we're kind of riding the line. We could get a rover exploration center. I don't think I want that. Um, we're not going for the food monitoring office. In fact, I think I'm just going to pass research this turn. It's completely not necessary. And I think it would be a good idea to continue to explore. I really need to get to the Marsha, but I also think exploring is a great way to get food, depending on what you find. 
Yeah, look, there's a supply cache, 10 food, perfect. If we can get that Marsha played, it'll be really useful. Next turn, and what happens? Ah, here we go, Planetary Engineering Lab. So for 15 silicates, I can get two signs per turn. That's actually a really good building, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that. More importantly, it's a space project, and we uh, we're definitely space project oriented in this gameplay. I'm a, I'm a little bit busy though to, to, to actually start sending things up there. So that's not going to be the play. Let's explore where the um, smiley faces are because that has a good chance of, I believe, they have a good chance of having the um, the things in them, the supply caches that give you food. Now, I'm going to get two food, so I only need to import two more food this turn. So I could start exporting. If I do three silicates per turn and then import a silicate to kind of keep this from burning out, I think I'll be able to complete this in five turns. Um, I'll import two of this. So that's exporting. I'll export a little bit of energy and I will export, I guess, my tritium. A robot hub would be good to grab. If I grab the robot hub, it would give me two expansions. I could get this mineral cave up. That'd be two titanium per turn. Yeah, I think that's the right move. Um, we're going to break yeah we're gonna grab the robot hub we're gonna play the robot hub we're gonna grab the mineral cave i need eight power and eight titanium so i'm gonna delay uploading resources to this so if i import no i'll have to just import um as much titanium as i can this turn rebalancing our economy there is a food building that's quite good um we also have the cultured meat lab i would like to grab that if i could um, let's go to container junction and I think, I think it would be good to play a Marsha here. This would be plus nine support per turn. It would take the edge off. It also gives quite a bit of score. And now this city has the five population that it needs, which is quite good. I could mine some resources. Let me have a think about that. So next turn I need to have, did I, to, to, to build this, I need eight power and eight titanium. So I won't be able to get that for a while. Um, that'll take two turns. I suppose we can just safely do a little bit of exploration. Boom, collect resources. Hey, we found a supply crate of water. That's actually really nice. It's always good to have at least one population building in reserve. I would like the gas factory as well, so we could start doing terraforming. Uh, we could mine this large asteroid. That would be something. We have eight turns to complete this project. I think we can do this. That'd be worth 25 titanium. That'd be a big deal. We don't have to do it immediately. We can start that like next turn. Uh, because I'd like to get this mineral cave up and I'd like to also get down this landing pad before I do that. So we'll just have to wait. Um, I suppose I'm going to mine a big old chunk of silicates just so that I have the full resources that I can pump into this project here, the Planetary Engineering Lab. And I can't really afford to do much else. I mean, the hospital is a really good card. The Magnetic Fusion Plant is a nice upgrade too. It'd be nice to take that, but I'm going to take the hospital and then some power, or, or some science rather. And now we get to pick a new leader. Uh, so Cam Camilla Williams is retiring. Let's have a look here. We have Marion Fayed, plus one resource of every resource hint. That's actually really good for getting resources right now. Gain three more projects and poor science and getting a free drone hub. Now she could be really powerful here, especially because she would increase our electricity production. On the other hand, we could go for Henry Carnegie, who would be an expert in global warming. We could gain atmosphere and heat, or we could start vetting our mines. And it would also make building mines cheaper I actually like the idea of Henry Carnegie. I'm going to take him. He's very much so an industrialist focused direction. The Applied Science Center would be nice if we could get it. The Android Hub, I don't think we'll be able to make work. Uh, I, I, I actually just really need the Research Center and the Applied Science Center. And then I'm going to like probably not draw cards for a while. We need to make some of these work. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and build the titanium mine here. And it's quite a bit cheaper, which I'm very happy about. So now we can stop importing this. Uh, let's go ahead and clear all our trade routes so that we can have a little bit of a think. We have seven turns to mine this large asteroid. I think the thing to do would be to dedicate this much of our resource economy to this and then have a little bit of a think. Um, I think I should import a titanium. So I'll export a tritium. I would like to get this develop applied science center down and this research center down. So I think I'm going to import a science and export a water. And then let's keep exploring. Particularly, we're looking for these milestone explorers because they're worth support, which just gets us through the game. Now, I think I better start venting my mines to um, build up the atmosphere on Mars a little bit quicker. It's expensive in terms of support. It costs me 25 support to do this, but th this is a lot of heat and a lot of atmosphere. And that will really help me to improve Mars as a place. So I can get a waste incinerator. 
which provides support. I can get a bacteria spreader, which will allow me to spread bacteria even faster, or I can get a restaurant. I think I'm going to go for the bacteria spreader so I can spread faster. I'm not going to research anything. I'm already kind of at my hand limit, so I'm going to go ahead and just take tech. I think I have a hand limit of 10. Yeah, which I have 10 cards in my hand, so I don't, I don't think I can really hold many more. Let's keep venting these mines to get atmosphere progress as fast as possible. I could build a hospital. I don't necessarily want to build a hospital. Choyer Junction, I really want to build a research center. I probably don't need to import science anymore. I'll get that next turn. I could probably export a science instead, which is what I'm going to do. I would love to build a gas factory. And I'm going to start importing food slowly. No, I'm going to claim this tile, play a trade route, and then I'm going to build a hospital in this city. Boom. Which means I am going to start um, importing more science. What should I export? I probably should export some water, some food, and get that science importing, because I need to get the research center and the applied science center down now. Uh, I guess I could build a gas factory here, so I will. So I'll put a gas factory right there, and that will give me two atmosphere per turn, which will take us 24 turns to complete the atmospheric transformation of Mars. So we can get artificial bacteria, which requires oxygen, or cyanobacteria, which requires temperature. I think the cyanotophyta suits me better. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take the cyanophyta. We could build a school. I don't think I want to. Another research center really fits my build. I need to start thinking about my late game. So I'll take the research center and then tech. Um, and then we'll vent this mine again. And now we're like only a handful of turns from advancing the heat of the planet. Um, so terraforming is a very important part of the game. I mean, you would think so in a game called terraformers. I think I'm going to expand to this water. Yeah. I need three energy and three titanium. I'm going to import three titanium so I can build that next turn. Ah, okay, we got a earthquake near one of our, couple of our buildings. So this has been damaged. We're going to repair it. It's very important because this, like, damaged buildings actually tank your support really hard. So I need 10 science. Um, therefore, I'm going to forego research this turn to repair this. Very important to do. Um, more buildings are damaged. I can't afford it. I need titanium to do that. What about you? I need food. I can repair you. I need so much food. Um, really not good that that happened. Um, let's explore for the hope of finding resources that can help us out of this predicament. I need some titanium. Boom. There we go. Now I can build the water mine. No, I need power. Okay, I can get the power next turn. So let's not import titanium. Um, to repair this, I can do that. Now, to repair all these buildings, I need an insane amount of food. Um, so I basically just have to like go max import on food, which does not feel good. Let me tell you. All right, we got a technological advancing. We can get house printing, which gives us two titanium and we construct a city building. That's actually massive. Mega structure design, which any building that costs 40 resources, we gain 10 random resources backs or terraforming observatories, which gives us 10 science whenever we increase the terraforming parameter. I think this is quite powerful because we are planning on doing quite a bit of terraforming parameters. In fact, we've already done one. So now we got plus one temperature in all climate zones and 100 support. So if we go, oh man, another bacterial spreader, we could spread so much bacteria. So if we go to the zone here and we take a look, the temperature is now zero. So we're slowly heating up Mars. There are, I believe, five steps to temperature. Now, if we reach the next level, we will sublimate the remaining carbon dioxide polar ice and that'll give us extra heat and atmosphere which is fantastic. Let's go ahead and repair these buildings. Remember, these buildings being damaged is really bad for our support. It's really tanking us. Um, we are going to go ahead and enable the mine large asteroid. Boom. So now we have a ton of titanium to play with. Tech wise, we could get another bacterial spreader. I'm a little bit tight. The exhaust ore processor would be really nice. Um, the public baths would be really nice. I just can't afford anything right now. I need to shift my economy around. I think the thing to do here is to go all in on finishing the planetary lab as fast as possible. So I'm going to just export five to it. And then otherwise I'm going to import a bunch of science and export titanium because I have so much titanium now I can just freely export it. And then I'm going to explore particularly looking for um, these happy zones because potentially I can get food out of it, which would make it easier for me to get this building repaired. Okay, I need a little bit of electricity to get this water mine. I can do some research. I don't think I, I don't think I can afford to research. Well, actually, I could get the public baths. And if I move this building to here and then build the public bath, this would not be worth too bad of a public support boost. Like, it'd be pretty good. So I'll take that plus seven public support. 
it's not terrible, but it's also not amazing. It costs me too much water, actually, now that I think about that. Let's just take the science. Yeah, I love I love undo buttons. I'm just going to take the science. That water is going to be useful for other things. Road paver would give us three expansions. Quantum data center would be worth. Oh, yeah, that would actually be really nice for me to take that. I'm going to take that. I also love the idea of another trade route. Just because I research them doesn't mean I have to place them, though. I'm going to build a mine here for that plus one water income, which means that's another resource I can export to rebalance my economy. Um, now, do I want to import CO2? No, I think I'm going to vent this mine. Boom. Get that five heat, five atmosphere. And oh, we've got too many projects in our hand. Um, okay, I'm going to come to Chora Junction and I'm going to play the Applied Science Center. So we'll get tech faster. Let's go to the next turn. The Dimos Moon City? We could build a city on the Martian moon Dimos. Oh, wow. Hell yeah. I'm totally down to found a city on Dimos. This would lower the cost of projects. So I definitely want to get to work on this. Um, it's going to be tough. But it's definitely something we're going to do. I think I'm just going to take the tech here. Oh, another gas factory would be nice to get that atmosphere up as fast as possible. Let's take the let's take the gas factory. That's so cool. We can build a city on Dimos. Um, that's kind of exciting. I've never seen that in the game before. Yeah, let's build a gas factory here. Pop it right there. So atmosphere now is just churning along. I do need to keep exploring. What are the what are the resources that I'm critically missing right now? Really, it's a science is my bottleneck. I need to get these buildings down, um, which means I need silicas. So let's try to explore for silicas, like here, plus five silicas, perfect. Because then I can get the quantum data center. And if I can get that quantum data center down, that's plus two science per turn. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just import CO2 from Earth. Boom. Let's try to get these terraforming steps done a little bit quicker. I'm not going to research. I'll just take the science. I don't, I don't think I need a fourth bacterial spreader. I think, or a third rather. I think two is fine. I already have windmills. I'm just going to take the tech. I will go ahead and enable the planetary engineering lab. That's going to be plus two science per turn. I'm going to import CO2 from Earth again. Again, because I'd like to finish the atmosphere if I could. Now I need to start thinking about, am I going to build that city on Deimos? One, two, three, one. This would be a very slow construction of the city. I could get it in five turns, I reckon. I reckon I could get it pretty quick. If I did something like this, I could get it in six turns. I would just have to find enough food. I think building the city is actually a good move. We could build a train station. That's kind of an interesting choice. Um, spaceports, damn, these are train station and spaceports are super good. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to play the quantum data center. Boom. That's going to be plus two science per turn. So now we're up to six science per turn, which is a huge, huge benefit. Um, I am going to play the research center. I need these two extra projects so that we have a wider selection of our research projects. I'm going to take the train station and the spaceport because those are fantastic upgrades. Spaceport is an update, up, upgraded landing pad um, that gives two trade routes instead of one. And the train station allows you to expand a city pretty heavily. Um, let's just do a quick little explore, ideally here. 21 support, excellent. We can plant a bacteria. I am, of course, going to plant the... Well, technically, I could plant the cyano to, to Phyta, which would allow us to start building oxygen on the planet, and that's not a bad move early. Um, so yeah, let's start building up our oxygen. 20 support and 2 support income. A variety of bacteria. Now, you do get more points from a life form the more you spread it. So you can see, if I have this life form in at least three zones, I'll get 20 support and two support per turn. So I think the, the sweet spot is to get it to three zones, I feel, per life form. But also it's quite important to at least spread a life form once, because that gets you two support per turn. Like you want to have a bit of biodiversity on Mars. Now, um, right, we're, in a, we're, I, I, we're not in what I would call a crisis, we're just in a crunch. We've got a lot of decisions we need to make and not enough room to make those decisions. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end my turn. Uh, we can start looking into spreading plants. We could go for the alpine forest, which requires just one temperature and one rainfall, or a tundra forest, which requires rainfall. Both of them are pretty equivalent. This one's worth six prestige. This one's worth four. I think I'm going to go for the six prestige because I do have rainfall. Um, I'm going to take the exploration satellite. I'm going to Whenever I don't have a space project, I'm going to take a space project. We could take an oxygen factory. It'd be a good expenditure of my water, maybe? Problem is, I'm, I'm running out of housing here. I don't know. Um, let's explore. I've got one more turn of Carnegie. I could finish the atmosphere this turn, so I will. Boom. And uh, yeah, excellent. Let's explore for science. That's the thing that we're lacking. We're going to need to get a 25 nitrate for this plant spreader. Ah, we've got too many projects. I'm going to go ahead and sell the CO2 factory. I'll clear this rock and then build a second research center, which will open up our options again. We'll go to the next turn. 
and it's an election year. So Henry Carnegie is now out. We could choose between Nyla Bullet Beck. She's diplomatic. So she increases your number of trade routes by one for every three new trade routes you set up. Trade routes from adjacent mines don't contribute. Um, I'll explain the mine adjacency thing later. So we can explore and gain support. Uh, we can produce this city or we can construct an embassy. Plus two support per turn per trade route provided by the city. Trade routes from mines don't count. Or we can go for oratory. She gives plus one support per turn for every five new buildings you build. You could spend water and gain support. Gain support per population. Yeah, I think I think I prefer diplomacy here, more of a trade route direction. This feels better. Um, support from trade routes, extra trade routes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'll take that. Okay, do we want to do the import the oceans from the rings of Saturn? Um, which would be a re fairly easy project for us to do. Or do we want to do an orbital telescope on Phobos? I think it would be better to import the oceans from the rings of Saturn. Um you can see now we have much more selection on our projects. So I'm going to import oceans and that'll be a space project that we work on. I forgot that this building in here is damaged. So I'm going to go ahead and repair it. Repairing does get cheaper the longer that a building has been damaged, but that'll really help with the support per turn. Although that does mean now that we're struggling to export food. So I'm going to calm down the food exports and instead export. What do I want to export? I guess I'll export some of this and import some of this and export some of this. I'll export some of this. I got so much science and power now that I can export it a little bit. Right. So Dymo City will take a little bit longer to build. That's fine. But we're rebalancing our economy. I definitely feel like I need to keep exploring. So I think this is going to be an explorer heavy phase of the game for me. Let's do it. Bit of water, bit of titanium. Lovely. So I could gain power, water or... I think water is the hardest for me to obtain right now, so I'll take water. Public baths, titanium, robot explorer, technology suggested faster. What I really need are things like landing pads, but what I really need are like things like food. I need food buildings, so I'm just going to pass on these um, until I get some food buildings. And we will keep exploring to uh, get a greater percentage of Mars covered. I'm going to play, I think, the automated scientific archive. This will, boom, make this cost six less technology for this terraforming observations, which will provide a decent amount of science in the long run. So we've definitely gone for like our science gives us more science with our technology here. It'd be nice to build an oxygen factory. And so I think I will build the oxygen factory. Do I really want to build it in the city? I'll build it over here, I think. Yeah, oxygen factory, boom. That'll provide one atmosphere and one oxygen per turn, which is fantastic. And then we will push to the next turn. Oh man, Space Hotels is a fantastic. It's like a cheap city, basically. Gives you 10 support per turn. Really, really damn good. Can't afford to really do any of this stuff. The insect farm would be nice. Um, it costs a lot of nitrates. It's the only problem. It would be good to have a homestead in my bank, so I will grab that. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and pass on this tech. I can't afford it. Let's keep exploring. Hey, eh? there we go. And keep exploring. We did find food. That's fantastic. That'll allow us to ramp up food exporting again. Can I... Almost get this done this turn. Almost. So we'll just about finish Dymo City, which will open up a lot of options for us, which I'm really happy about. Next turn. Okay, there's a farm. We definitely needed the farm. The bio generator would be cool, but I can't really afford the nitrate income. Um, quantum data center would be nice. It'd be nice to get delivery drones. I'll take a delivery drone and I can play that in Choyer Junction, I think. I'm going to move this building and then I will play a delivery drone there. I'll claim a tile, I'll get a trade route, I'll move this drone to there, and then I need to build a building and a building and a building. Okay, so I need to build three more houses in here. I don't know where where or when I'm going to get to do that, but we'll, we'll try. Maybe we'll do a farming community in Dymos, that might be fun. I'll uh, construct an embassy for free. I think we just go ahead and keep exploring because we get support and a little bit of resources from that. Now, we're going to finish Dymo City basically immediately. We don't need to import the oceans right away. I think the exploration satellites would be really good. So I'd like to start getting that done. Um, let's get that done ASAP. I'd like to get that done in three turns. It's using up all my trade routes. So the second Dymo City is finished, we'll start building a farming community up there, I think. I'm a little bit over my project capacity. So I've held this windmill for too long. I'm going to sell it for a science. Uh, let's go ahead and clear this. We'll enable Dymo City. Oh, actually, Dymos is an incredible science location and there's a titanium mine up here. So yeah, I think maybe we'll, this will be a science city. Never mind. Not a farming community. Um, so I'll place this there. Wow, that's a ton of science, actually. Um, we should build that city mine, though. That's plus one titanium per turn. That makes Dymos immediately useful. I had no idea Dymos was so good for science. Like, this is crazy good. That's plus four science if I can build four science buildings there. Let's have a look if we can find any science producing buildings. Uh, I will take exploration satellites again. And we want to get these, we want to get these space projects done ASAP. The sooner we get those space projects done, the faster they pay themselves off. And that's the logic. Keep exploring. I need to expand my cities. I need to build some of these things down here. 
what I really need to do is to get another city. So after I finish some of these space projects, I might start importing a ton of food. Minus 30 support income is rough to deal with, but I think I can handle it. Um, import methane from Titan. That's less important to me. Plus one power per turn. Hydroponic farm, that's big. We need to start building up a, a farm. Oh, Android hub, that's big. Um, do I build the Android hub now? If I build the Android hub, I could do a lot of cool stuff. Like the plant spreader and the bacterial spreader. Yeah, Choir Junction. Uh, let's go ahead and plant your plant, 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 plant. I'll plant the Android hub. I'm going to go ahead and claim this dead tile. I could place a city there, but I'm not going to. I'll play a plant spreader on that tile. Boom. And then I can start planting the Alpine Forest. I gained six prestige. So that's 60 support and six support income. And that goes up every three zones. You get up one for the first time, then every three zones you get more. All right, so let's start spreading forests. Awesome. Huge. Slowly terraforming Mars. Um, I'd like to start spreading more bacteria as well. So let's keep the exploration going. Let's try to explore new zones. The more zones we have access to, the better. This is a canyon view. Here's a flat plain city. I think we'll build on that flat plain city and we'll play a bacteria spreader there. Um, this is a little bit harder to place. Yeah, let's play the methogenium. Perfect. We're slowly spreading bacteria. That's what we like to see. I'm going to explore down into this zone as well. So you can see my influence on Mars is starting to spread. I love how Mars actually starts to change, like the visual. You can see like the roads that my people are building uh, in between my buildings and factories and stuff. I could build a canyon view here for plus one comfort of living. I don't think that would be particularly good. Uh, maybe better for a city that actually has stuff. I think I would rather just get water income. So I'll build a mine there. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, this is fine. We're getting those satellites up. We want to focus on those space projects. Remember, that's our that's our like specialty. We could get a bus station. It's not bad. I think I really want a housing. I already have two houses in my hand, so I don't need more. Ooh, the laboratory would be good for Dimos, so I'll grab the lab. The hospital would be good for Dimos too, just to get that support up a little bit. Let's go ahead and finish that exploration satellite. Oh, <gasps> undo. Didn't mean to delete that. And then let's see if we can finish this second exploration satellite this turn. Dude, now I'm going to be able to explore the hell out of this um, planet. Let's keep on exploring. Lovely. So the temperature has come up. So like the some of the seas are starting to melt, which I like to see. I need to settle a city. That is the big thing that I am lacking right now. I'd like to settle in this lava tube. Um, let's see. Let's have a look for maybe is there any fertile soil hanging around? Oh, yeah, we have fertile soil over here in this city. So I think this is the city I'm going to try to expand to. So once I finish this exploration satellite, I'm going to start importing food on mass. So technological advancement, I can gain. Oh, Two support income when I increase science or silicates. I can gain plus one support income when constructing a city building. That's actually super good. Um, gain two support income. I think architectural beautification or open scientific database. Both are really good here. I think I'm going to go for open scientific database because I'm about to build a science planet. And so this just works really good. We're quite a while away from terraforming observations and need needing to be played. I'll take this. There's another observation satellite. So now we're just exploring like crazy. Um... Yeah, let's play Open Scientific Database. Boom. Then if I come up to Dimos and I play the laboratory, boom, that'll actually give me support. And then I'll play a hospital soon. Um, now I'm going to import like a ton of food, which means I need to export equally a lot of crap. So I'll export a whole bunch of stuff. I would love to do the import from the Rings of Saturn if I could. Any space projects here? What have we got? A Marsnet? This would be a one-time one project that gives plus one comfort of living globally. That's really good. I'll take that. Um, I Do I need a third bacterial spreader? I mean, maybe. It would, just, it would massively increase the rate of bacterial spread on Mars. And it's science costing. No, I think I need stuff like Android hubs and farms. Yeah, I'll take the Android hub. That's fine. Oof. Minus 40 support income. Now that's starting to get hard to deal with. We're going to have to start bringing up our support income quite a bit. Um, we can import oceans from Ceres. Let's do that one. That's actually a fairly cheap project. And with the combination of Ocean from Rings of Saturn and the Oceans of Ceres, we will actually hit another ocean terraforming step. I'd love to build a ocean pit mine, but I can't get around to that. I need to import one less food. No, I think I need to keep importing food, actually, to get my support up. I'm going to move this plant spreader over to this unoccupied tile, as much as it pains me to do that. I think it's the right move, because then I can build a spaceport here and get a shit ton of trade routes. Boom. That's just took me from eight trade routes to 14, because now I can... Because when you build this spaceport and it's adjacent to a mine, you can immediately export the stuff from the mine. It never even goes into your resource pool. So it lets you just export more heavily. Um, 
which is super nice, which in turn will allow you to, to import more heavily, which will be good for our Marsnet stuff. In fact, speaking of Marsnet, um, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, we'll get that Marsnet up. It'll be good. And I'm going to build an embassy in Choyer Junction. That'll be two support per turn per thingy. So that's quite a bit of support. Took the edge off. Very nice. Um, I can import two more resources. What would I like to import? It'd be nice to import these silicates, I think, because we do have a building here that requires them. I'll just take the tech because I have nothing to spend on. Okay, next turn. Mediterranean shrubs or penguins and an animal spreader. Uh, I'm going to take the Mediterranean shrubs. Okay, let's found a city here. Now, if I'm thinking about food building, food building... Food building support support. So I think I can found my city like right here in the center. Clear this. Play the hydroponic farm. Boom. Play the greenhouse farm. Oh, I need a little, I need a little bit more water. That's okay. But we're getting more food per turn. I'm going to play the Android hub here. Boom. Android hub is down. So we can claim this. Claim this. What is this? Sandstones. Guided tours. Plus five support per turn. That doesn't seem too bad, actually. I'd like to build that pit mine. What's on this tile? Blank tile. We'll hold off on claiming another tile. It's good to have that. Uh, I'm going to do terraforming observations. This will give us a ton of passive science over the course of the game as we continue to terraform Mars. I'm not going to research anything this turn because I'm going to get a new leader. Uh, we can get space tourism. Now this, this is a powerful leader. So she has space tourism, which uh, new planet location upgrades to provide support or comfort of living pride plus five extra support per turn. She also has the space hotels ability, which gives you just a space hotel. She can also feed resources into space projects and she provides 25 support when she explores. I'm actually picking her. I mean, this mining guy is really good. Don't get me wrong, but I have to pick the space tourism person because she fits with my build so well. I'm going to immediately click alternative space materials, which will help fill up these projects for me. And now I need to do like a space race rush. I need to stop importing food. I need to continue to import some silicates and I need to I need to reset my trade basically I need to finish this I need to finish this then I need to export to what to titanium I guess um, I'm going to go ahead and claim this. I'm going to build a guided tour. That'll actually be worth 10. I, w I do want to build a pit mine, but I don't have the energy for it. Um, continue to explore. And then we can research projects. Combined living center. Not a bad building. The robot ingenuity center isn't terrible either. The quantum data center would be perfect for Deimos. Otherwise, I'm just going to take the science because I can't really build any of these projects that I have. Now, here's a ton of projects that I could potentially build. Hold on. Um, let's go ahead and do the Marsnet. Boom. So now every population we build will be worth plus one support for that. I get import oceans from Enceladus. Um, instead, I'm going to do space hotels. This is like a little bit more direct to our goals. In Beachstead, I'm going to play a greenhouse farm right there. Um, I'm also going to look... What have we got here? Two extra projects proposed every turn. That's actually a really good building. Plus one comfort of living for every two robots. There are three in here. I don't think I'm going to bother with that. I will take the research center. Road paver is good. Let me expand the city. Let's continue to explore. I'll build a pit mine for the water. Awesome. Um, and things are going well. We have some unassigned trade routes. Let's clear out you. Just yeet as much titanium up into the atmosphere as we can. Um, and I do have a life form spreading action. Let's add a, another methogenium. And that'll bring us up to three provinces with methogenium in it, which will give us another little bit of support, a little bit of prestige. Um, and Mars is starting to look very icky-wicky. Ooh, we could build a Phobos moon city. Um, our oxygen level increased. Excellent. Oh, shoot. I can drop a space hotel and we'll start founding Phobos. Phobos is quite cheap, actually, as well, because I have the 15% reduction. Um, water, tourism. Awesome. So once a city is founded in Phobos... Trade routes will provide plus one support from per turn, although mine adjacency trade routes don't count. Okay, that's fair. So we have a ton of like bonuses and buildings and activities that are all working together to make us stronger. Uh, do I want to build a road paver in here? I could grab an aquifer and I could also get this flooded large nitrites deposit if I were to pay the road paver. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to play the road paver. I'm going to get this aquifer. I'm going to build a mine on that aquifer. I'm going to... Oh, I can't. I could expand to the titanium deposit and I would really need the train station in here then. I suppose if I'm going for the train station, I'll need to start exporting science in exchange for um, silicates to get this up. Um, let's keep exploring nice and cheaply. Oh, water, heat, atmosphere. Cool, cool, cool. We found a CO2 glacier. Now we can drop a nuke on that or we can just wait until these CO2 glaciers, you know, go themselves. I do want another research center, so I'll take it. 
Um, I definitely want another quantum data center too. I, th I think we're I think we're on like a really strong build. Oh, we could mine a large asteroid for silicates. That would be huge. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. We're going to import the motion. Then we're going to mine this large asteroid. Boom. We're going to export as much science as we dare. And then what do I need to import? Well, if I get these silicates, I, honestly, if I get these silicates, it changes the game for me. So I'm going to go for them. Do I want to build research centers? Yeah, I would. Having more access to project choices would give me a lot more control over my build and the direction I go. Um, I could build a heliostat power plant. I could build a cultured meat lab. I like the idea of the cultured meat lab. I like the heliostat power plant. Bus station also is quite nice. Um, I'm going to go for the heliostat power plant. I'm going to claim this high position and then play a heliostat power plant on it. That'll be three power per turn, which is a big deal. Big money. We're currently up to 300 score out of 800. And we're losing support slowly, but we're not dying. All right, now we've got like a list of crap we can imp import. I don't think we're ready to make a decision in here. I think we're going to go ahead and enable importing this. 200 support plus one rain. All locations at elevation two have flooded, which will mostly be around this polar region. So that was fantastic. We just like massively terraformed up Mars a little bit. Now it's starting to look like, you know, starting to have a little bit of a shape to it, if you know what I mean. Righty tighty whitey lighty doodly boop scoodly poop let us continue on our journey I had to take a little bit of a mental break there and I don't remember what the hell I was doing now we were making cultured meat lab I suppose we could we could generate more food in this city I think that would be a reasonable thing to do let's go ahead and click here oh, build a cultured meat lab plus this also gives three uh, appeal per turn. I could build another house. Do I want to build another house? Now there was a good spot for a house right here. This is plus nine appeal per turn. It would also give me another expansion slot. I could expand to this canyon and build a viewpoint tower. Um, probably not the worst thing I could do with my time. Let's explore this tile. Maybe there's something here. Oh hey, we found underground frozen oxygen. Very nice. Uh, we found a large meteorite so we could build a research station here or harvest it. Uh, I like the idea of building a research station there so i tell you what i will do i will plonk down a house here that will give me nine uh, happiness per turn support per turn and then i will claim that and that plus one science per turn could be quite good i don't know i i might not take the science i could harvest it and like getting those silicates could be handy especially well i suppose i'm going to get my silicates from doing the meteor so maybe that's not completely necessary in terms of research i don't think i need to import methane i could import more oceans because I, I don't know how many terraforming steps there are um, that would be something that would be quite handy. So I'm getting my next technology in nine turns. Let me have a little bit of a think. Maybe I could get something here. Um, habitation module, research center. An extra two research projects could be good. If I got another development center at another research center, that would be handy. Um, I think I'd like something that generates science. The luxury workshop produces support. That could be helpful. I mean, importing oceans here is really cheap. It just causes some, just costs some tritium. Let's grab it. Let's grab it and then we'll click the um, the alternative space materials button next turn. This will grant three random resources in our projects. Now, anything that costs water. I can't afford any of these things. Two extra projects being proposed every turn. Honestly, that really opens up options for me. Being able to see more options proposed is like super nice. Okay, yeah, I would like a landing pad. Now here's the thing, I could take the landing pad and then I could harvest this research station. I mean, plus one science per turn. Is that as good as just yoinking it out? Do I need that science? I already have eight science per turn. Do I really need another plus one? And I have so much tech that's going to come in. I'm going to I'm going to take the 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 resources actually. I'm going to do a little scan a row. Um, what am I looking for here in terms of scanning? Honestly, I think I just need support. So I'll just I'll grab this. There's thirty support and three nitrates. Um, I'm going to zoom out to Dymo City. Oh wait, no, I don't. I don't have the energy now to do this. Okay, that's unfortunate. Do I want to build a research center here? I think I do need to get a second house on this place. I'm going to put a hospital here to give just that little bit of support from the city. And then I'll get a second house up here. Pro maybe homesteads, who knows. Um, yeah, but I'll, I'll get a second house up here. And um, I'll start building these quantum data centers soon. Now, I've got three unused trade routes. Can I intensify my imports to... Yeah, I can get the silicates now. And then I'm going to import some electricity and export some tritium because I don't see a reason to have tritium and this will just allow me to get these quantum data centers up a little bit faster which is perfect right I'm gonna press the alternative space materials button actually which will help me finish these projects slightly faster um so that'll free up another three 
of those. Let's see. Anything I want to research. Um, so since I harvested this, I technically I could get a red thing. This is just a flat rocky plain. I, I guess I could get a bacteria spreader. Do I really want to... I mean, how many zones are there on Mars, really? Do I need another bacteria spreader? I suppose it could be good. The faster we get that bacteria spread, the more support we get, the happier the people are. Yeah, maybe I take the landing pad for another trade route. I don't have a high location to put this on. I think if I'm going to take something, the landing pad is a really easy take, I feel. Then maybe something I could build immediately, like a robot hub. It's a good pick. It costs energy, though. I need something that doesn't cost energy. Maybe I'll just grab another house. It's always good to have houses. Ooh, here we go. The GMO lab um, is a way to turn science into food. That actually seems like a good idea with my current level of uh, science production. So that'll be handy. Okay, we've got unassigned trade routes. I think we should start building the Phobo city as well. So I'm going to start exporting up to there and I will also start exporting up to the import of oceans from Enceladus because I'm just I'm trying to make sure that I get that done and we'll end our turn and see where we stand okay minus 50 support income it's getting tough to maintain that's okay Ooh, what is this giant space mirrors increase the heat of a climate zone by one step it can only be placed once not bad actually um would also give 30 heat to the whole planet so that could be something worth picking up here let's go ahead and enable the 25 silicates so I'm going to come out now to Dymo City. I'm going to play the quantum data center, one data center, and then two data centers. So that was another six signs per turn we just pulled off. That's super powerful. Uh, let's do an explore mission. Let's explore a new zone, Chimeria Minor. There we go, 25 silicates, all that's, or 25 support sil silicates and all that jazz. We're going to spread Cyanophyta. I wish there was a way for me to tell how many um of each thing that i have spread yeah so i think i need to spread cyanophyta now so i'll spread this in the south and it'll be cheaper because it's adjacent to a place it's already been which is perfect so i need to spread it one more time um to improve it the hyperloop is sick that's eight expansions it's very expensive very 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 expensive basic laboratory i could honestly i could build that on dimos and it's very very cheap for plus two science per turn now we're up to 16 science per turn which is kind of a little bit bonkers actually do i want to take the space mirrors i mean it's a lot of heat it's 10 turns worth of heat for a very small investment honestly um so let's take it let's have a look at the current play status of play let's reset all of our thingies um Let's try to do... Let's try to get this finished quickly. So that'll get done nice and fast. Then let's try to do one, two, three on there. And then one, two, three, four on there. So we've got all of our economy going into the space stuff which i think will do the job and um, we'll get those we'll get those done nice and quick now if i press alternative space materials yeah okay no we won't do that we will do an exploration documentary uh, i cannot afford it so i may as well do alternative space materials may as well um, and we'll build another landing pad this time i will export what will i export honestly i'll export a little bit of this and then import a little bit of food that seems like totally reasonable to me okay so we can get radio radi radio durance Plus two tritium per turn if the climate zone has a city. Has a quick recharge duration. Has some prestige. I could also get cacti, which is 16 prestige. That's really good. Really, 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 really good. Yeah, I'll take the cacti. Oh, there we go. Atmosphere level increased. 200 support plus one radiation protection. Um, I can't afford to take a space project. Food factory. It's relatively cheap food factory. The cultured meat lab is quite good. So what am I what am I looking for in this city? This city is complete. This city is basically complete. I'm just looking for a science adjacency building. I, I found one on like turn two and I never found one again. This city needs like housing, really. Honestly, no, this city just needs buildings, like science buildings. Yeah, I just need to fill the city out. Maybe get one more pop building in here. Let's see, do I have any drones? I could get the delivery drones. Yeah, so delivery drones. I'll play delivery drones in here like so. Uh, now this thing can have 15 buildings. It has nine, and there's one, two, three, four, five slots left. Sorry, six slots left. Okay, perfect. It would be good to get a spaceport. I'll take the spaceport. Uh, what, if I were to build a spaceport here, I would have two more water thingies. I'm going to import some ocean. I do need to pay attention to some of the flood zones. Like, this thing will get flooded, I think, soon. So I need to think about uh, where the flooding is going to go. Let's continue to extract... 
do a little uh, milestone. Thank you. I need to think about where my next city is going. I think this lava tube over here is going to be a good city location. So I'm going to start looking to build in that direction. So I'll start exploring nearby. Um, I'll need to save up some food. I also, I'm building a city up in Phobos as well. So that's going on. Uh, I think I'll play the research center into Beachstead. Like there. Boom. That'll be two extra projects per turn. And I do have some unassigned trade routes. I've got two unassigned trade routes. I think I'll export that tritium to get an extra import route. And then I guess I will try to finish this project faster. And I guess we will import even more food. Because food seems to be the bottleneck for my development here. Food and water. But I have tons of water. Okay, so I can get a spaceport. I can import oceans from the rings of Saturn. Or I can get a miner's cottage. I think if I'm going to do anything, I'm going to import, right? Uh, oh, there we go. Plus one. Temperature in all climate zones. That's fantastic. Uh, dry ice sublimates, giving us more atmosphere and heat. So we've just, we've made really good terraforming progress. Mars, look, you can see, look, if you look carefully, you can see Mars is starting to have a little bit of a glow of an atmosphere. It's not much of a glow, but it is there. Um, so we are making good terraforming progress. I've got 38 science. So I'm going to go ahead and play a GMO lab in here. That'll get me plus two food, which is quite nice. Um... I do need to research a couple of things. I definitely could use a development center so I can research extra projects per turn. Uh, no, I can't take the planetary engineering lab. I wish I could take space hotels. That'd be great. The Android hub is fine. Ooh, I like the idea of the applied science center. Getting those, uh, these, um, these technologies, you know, ab applied to me faster. These have been pretty good so far. So getting them even faster seems nice. Two of my space projects are about to finish. I think we should start importing more oceans from the rings of Saturn turn yeah that seems good so i guess i'll just go whole hog into that to get that done asap and we've built a really efficient space economy i'll soon be able to settle another city um i'm going to come in here and i will play the development center and i will also oh i'd like to play the applied science center but i can't i don't think i want to play a train station do i i mean technically if i played the train station we could grab like, what is this, train station four expansions? We could grab one, two, hmm. I don't know, I don't know. We could probably grab a good bit of stuff, but I don't think I'll play the train center there. But Mars is looking pretty well explored. You can see the light areas are where I've explored. So I'm, I'm starting to get a good handle on what Mars is all about. Here we go, this is a great building. I'm going to take the university. That'll give adjacent science buildings plus one science per turn. I will also grab... I mean, skyscrapers are all right. The minus three support per turn sucks, is the thing. The Hyperloop is interesting. Touring Company is interesting. The Bee Colony. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, 22 water, 10 support per turn, and a food per turn. Okay, I'll take the Bee Colony. That's kind of an interesting uh, decision. I'd love to import oceans from Europa, but it's just not an option for me. I'll take the Android hub. That'll that'll help me kickstart this new city over here that I'm planning. I definitely need to get more population. That's an area of my planet that I'm struggling with. So it's election year. Uh, Deja is retiring and then we can go to Flora. Flora makes plant spreaders cheaper um, and she allows you to get a lot of life forms and she can reduce the re recharge time of active life form spreader buildings by one turn. That could be a really interesting way to terraform the planet. We've also got this trade guy. You get one power point for every new expansion point you acquire or ocean location you expand towards. Um, he would allow you to get trade centers. We are very trade centric. I think I'm going to go for the plant centered build. It'd be quite nice to get a lot more plants going. Um, combined living center. That's a great building. It's a robot and a pop. So it's just like an upgraded house. A restaurant district. Adjacent population provides three support per turn. That's a, this is a great building. A research center. Extra two projects. That would be fantastic. Let me go ahead and complete my science projects. So Phobos City will be 12 support per turn. Thanks to the trade routes. Boosh. Um, now this is going to be a population center. That's the thing about this. We want to generate a lot of support up here in Phobos. In terms of population. So I think pop a headquarters here. And we want to mostly put down like good houses and things that go adjacent to houses. So we don't want to put like train stations or anything like, like a restaurant district would be good. I think let's have a look. Have we got any housing or housing boosting buildings? I don't think delivery drones is it. Here's a house. OK, uh, so yeah, we're going to we're going to try to f fill out some houses up here and build up support. There's also a water mine, which is kind of an interesting thing. May as well mine a little bit of water out of here. Um, giant space mirrors. Let's go ahead and heat up a zone. Uh, may as well heat this to max. Or, what if we heat up the water zone up here? Ah, I need to explore it. Hold on, what if I explore it? And then I heat this zone, what happens? Interesting, okay. We got a bunch of heat. 11 turns until our next heat 
milestone. Train station, Android hub, doo -doo 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 -doo, a bee colony, wouldn't mind that. Um, let's import all the oceans from the rings of Saturn. I'm going to take two new life forms. I can get deer or the temperate forest. I'll take the deer because that'll also give me an animal spreader, which is a new building that I will want to make use of. I could probably make use of it in Beachstead. Um, I'll put an animal spreader here. Boosh. Now, I don't have a suitable climate zone for deer yet, but that's okay. I'm going to get a bunch of new animal life forms, so that, that's fine. I would like to play the bee colony. What if I took this bacteria spreader and then I moved this over here and I put a bee colony there? Oh, it's too cold. It lacks oxygen. Undo that. Minus two oxygen. Oh, I guess oxygen is too low. I can't play the bee colony. Okay, if I can't play the bee colony, I'll just hold it in my hand. I could play the applied science center as we had planned. There we go. Should get more tech up. You know, oh, minus 60. Damn, okay, they're getting, it's getting hard to maintain happiness here. Next expectation is minus 70. Every turn that passes increases the chance of an expectation rise. So the chance of an expect, there's no chance expectation will rise. Great. We'll get another technology next turn. And we will enable the importation of ocean. So I just need 20 more. So I could extract some water, etc. Do a little exploring. I'd like to found a city in these lava tubes. There is a nice little farming zone here as well. I will found a city right there. That's a plus seven. Farm is going over here. That's fine. I think it would be good to play a train station. I'd also like to play the Android hub. Let's reset our trade routes. Let's export what we can. I want to build this spaceport. So I'm going to start importing a little bit of tritium. Um, I need to import some titanium as well. Otherwise, the thing that I'm struggling with is food. Now, what can I export? I can probably get away with exporting like a lot of food, a lot of energy, a lot of water. Yeah, just a lot of these things, especially science. Science is a great thing for me to export. Um, yeah, perfect, right? We got we got the stuff coming. Let's propose two more life forms. I can get the boreal rainforest or horses. I'll take horses. Every animal I have gives me a potential for another animal to be placed on Mars, which is uh, really nice for me. Ooh, I'll take the animal spreader. I'd like to build another one of those just to be ready. Uh, GMO lab would be nice too. I'll take a hospital and a GMO lab. A hospital will give support in this brand new city that I'm planning. The, the GMO lab will give me a benefit from this fertile soil that I plan to make use of. Alrighty, we got a technological advancement. We got high tech luxury. So I can turn science into support and I'll probably just do that immediately. Um, let's just play that. Boom, 25 support income. Remember that is score. That's 25 score. Let's propose two new life forms. Ah, rabbits. Beautiful little rabbits. These are so much easier to maintain because they do not need much oxygen and they don't need much temperature. Let's go ahead and play the little Arctic hare. Oh, yes. Rabbits are very easy to spread. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little rabito up here. And um, they now live up here. There's no flora or anything. Um, but they help with the terraforming. So I really want like support buildings. Oh, here's an exploration satellite. I think we'll take that. That's an easy finish. Another hospital could be good. Um, I don't want the... Well, and on, honestly, combined living centers are fantastic. I would like another plant spreader so that I can keep up my, my, my terraforming momentum. We've got the rover museum. Um, yeah, those are quite good. I'll take a rover museum. Can I put that down in Dimos? I wonder. No, I'd be better off putting down a university here to boost these two things. I think that would be better with, with my time. Um, you... Definitely, maybe need a second house. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll think about that. Honestly, actually, Dimos, maybe I should just play the Rover Museum. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just play the Rover Museum. It's a little bit of support, a little bit of stuff. And we will ideally play another animal spreader. I'm going to switch this bacterial spreader. You're going to come here and you will get an animal spreader. And I'll be able to spread more Arctic hares. Just trying to get as many as I can. Now, there's not a lot of prestige for the hares, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. I think that's all we can achieve this turn. I guess I technically I could build a train station here, um, which I guess I will do because there is no reason not to. What are you sand doings? Guided tours. I'll take the guided tours. Boom. I'll take the water. I could extract the water for the ocean, but honestly, I would much prefer to have the mine. And then I want the silicates as well. And then I'll hold on to that expansion, maybe for a plant spreader down the line. In fact, let me export a silicate and import a niter so that I can nitrate so I can make that plant spreader. That absolutely makes sense to me. We'll end the turn. Oh, 50% science per turn for 20 turns. That's a huge amount of science for me. Uh, I've got a ton of buildings I can select from, but I do want to make sure I, I, I play the moves that I decided last turn. So Mediterranean shrubs or the um, Alpine forest. Let's play. Let me see. Do they do they? They don't overlap. So I'm going to play the shrubs first. Boom. 60 support and 6 support income. Start to see the um, 
effects of terraforming very nicely. Let's go ahead and keep exploring over here. Silicates, resources, all that. Let's continue to propose life forms. Temperate rainforest or birds of paradise. Birds of paradise seem quite hard to maintain, but I'll take them. Um, we have a little housing situation we want to do. Let's play the hospital. Then I'll do a combined living center here for two more expansions. I can grab you. Take that mine. Stop importing this. I'd like to get a spaceport here, so I'll take that tile and get ready to put that spaceport, which means maybe I could scooch in less food. Let's see. So I'll be up to nine. So I need to import six to get to the spaceport and then I can import three food safely. Okay, perfect. In terms of project research, yeah, I'll, I'll import um, 50 atmosphere. I'll import that as well. Space projects are just like my jam. Let's have a look. I don't need the quantum data center. I could use a food building. I'll take that. Space hotels are great. They're super cheap and super good for winning the game. <clears throat> Let's do a trade place. This will get me four new trade routes. Two and two. So I don't need to import these anymore. Bee colony won't be happening. Let's keep getting life forms, palm trees, temper forest. Um, animal spreader would be good. Probably better to get other things first. Robot ingenuity center could... Well, I guess this place does have a potential for a lot of like with combined living, living centers. We could do a lot with that. Um, I'll play the robot ingenuity center. That'll get us another expansion. So we need to keep exploring nearby so that we can find good things. Flat plains. Um, this is going to be a very expansive city. I'm going to tell you right now. Um, are there any mines nearby? There will be one mine. We could get another one of these spaceports and we could import four tritium per turn to get that in three turns. Uh, let's see. We'll start doing exploration satellites and I will import another food. Perfect. No, actually, I need to get more silicates in my bank. That's something I'm struggling with a little. Um, we've got so much science, we may as well be exporting mostly science now. So we're cleaning that up. Still research a project. A food building would be nice. Oh, wow, look at that hyperloop. That's insane. I mean, why not get an animal spreader, you know? We're in the, we're in the time to get it. Oh, 70 support income. Good God. Okay, that was bad luck. Um, right, we've got a ton of stuff going on here. She will, she will retire in a few turns. I think I keep getting life forms, radio durance, or elephants. I think we take the radio durance. They should be easier to spread. Got a little bit of bacteria. So I need to spread this guy one more time to upgrade him. I believe green is acceptable. 14 turn spread here. Perfect. Right. What are we going to do? We change our trade. I think I'm happy with the way my build is going right now. I could do a little bit of research. Uh, Flora Colony. Android Hub. Don't want to build that. Any cheap buildings I could grab? Grab another hospital. The hospitals are just great support. Quantum data center. I don't need that. I think I'm a little bit too heavy on trade routes right now. I mean, an Android Hub. Is it the worst thing in the world if I play an Android Hub here? I've got the Robot Ingenuity Center. So, you know, what if I play an Android hub and then I pick up another Android hub? This thing gets six more places it can colonize. Um, we could pick up a ton of mines. Grab that titanium depot and the sandstones, guided tours. There's a mine here I can grab. I'll improve all those mines in a little bit. Otherwise, I'll hold on to these expansion points. There's no point in spending them yet. We can still research a project. Honestly, I think we just skip a research turn. Maybe take the hospital and then skip. See where we stand next turn. I don't want to fill my hand with crap cards. Uh, let's see. Tundra Forest or Dinococcus. I will take the Tundra Forest. The Oxygen is going to be the thing that I struggle the hardest with to get into the planet. Okay, it looks like we actually have a ton of really interesting choices here, like the Domed Park, etc. I'm not going to make those choices yet. I, I probably... Here's what I'm going to take. I'm going to take the Domed Park. I am going to make these choices. I'm taking the Domed Park. I'm taking the... Miner's Cottage and the Habitation Module. Boom. All housing oriented. And then I'm going to zoom out to Fobo City. This would be worth seven support. If I played a regular house, it'd be worth three. Um, yeah, I'll play the homesteads here. That's worth seven support. I will play a hospital here. Boom. I'll stop importing as much and then finish the exploration satellite off this turn. I need to keep exploring to collect resources and find out. Um... Let's, oh, we can do a little plant spread. Let's have a look. Okay, we've got a ton of stuff here. Some of these haven't been spread yet. Um, I'd say we spread a tundra forest. There's a nice tundra forest location. So what's worth more? This is worth four. This is worth 12. Let's do the temperate forest. It's worth more. Boom. That's 12 support income and 120 support. Got like a big old biodiversity bloom on Mars. Oh, I like the way, like if you slowly rotate, I like the way the planet like 
looks. Something just kind of nice about it. Metalladurians or a temperate rainforest. I'll take a temperate rainforest. It's worth 32 prestige if I can get it. That's huge. It's a ton of score. Um, I could probably have played an even harder version of this, although I hadn't unlocked the harder thing yet. Let's do guided tourist. That'll be five support per turn. I will take this mine. Remember, increasing your resource income does very slightly improve our score. We're about 130 points away from winning. And we've no power of none either. We're in a bit of a dearth of resources, but that'll change next turn. I hope. Yeah, import oceans. That'll be cool. I'm going to go ahead and fire this off. We've got a couple of exploration satellites. Boosh and Zaboosh. Ah, okay, so we can no longer import life forms. Well, I suppose let's just lower the recharge on our things. Oh, we can play horses. We can play deer. I suppose we'll, we'll play the other ones first. So we'll play horses. The horses are going to go where the rabbits used to be, which I'm fine with because they're better. Horses are just objectively better than rabbits. Um, when it comes to score, at least. That's, that's the thing. And then let's accelerate the proliferation of life to lower the cooldown of our life proliferation buildings. Um, I'd like to get the animal spreader. So I'm going to end up with 28. There's 30. I'll be able to make an animal spreader next turn. I think it'd be good to do both of these import projects. So import, boom, and then maybe I chill out on the power export or chill out on the this import. Um, I don't need to import as much metal anymore, I think. So let's do this and then continue to export. Right, perfect. I'm liking the setup. We'll get these done pretty quick. I could do another Android hub in here, by the way, which would be kind of nutty. The amount of tiles it would claim might not be the play. Might Might be the play, though. That's the thing. What can we get here? Import oceans, regolith burner, hydroponic farm. Hydroponic farm is a good grab. Um, applied science center. We're getting those techs pretty quick now. So if I keep getting those applied science centers, it'll be even better. I have a university already in my hand. My soil factory is just a no brainer. I definitely need to get nitrates. That's something I'm like super missing. Ooh, I've got too many projects in my hand. I'll play off a habitation module and a... I'm going to get rid of the bee colony. It seems it's good, but it seems kind of hard to play. I need to trash another card. Um, I suppose the tuber farm just isn't as good as the other things. Oh my god. What are the chances I would, I've would i had such bad luck with my support triggers? Oh, here we go. Here's a bacteria spreader. I'll take that. That seems quite good. That's, uh, that's really easy to play, actually. I will play over the city. and I'll play a bacteria spreader right there. And I will play some radiodurans. Boosh. So now I have bacteria and plants in one zone just starting to feel pretty darn good um i'd like to play an animal spreader too perfect and it'd be good to play deer ah okay so the deer can only fit in the same well the deer can fit in this rabbit zone over here so i'll put deer here which kind of means rabbits got kicked to the curb but that's fine rabbits are a little bit more hardy rabbits are like a tier one animal whereas deer and horses they're a little bit more important hey that's just i don't make the rules that's just the way that it is let's recharge our buildings i love this recharge buildings button so the radio durans they lower comfort of living, which will hurt my support. But they do give tritium income if the city's in the zones. Let's focus on the methanogenium. Um, keep that heat going. So we could spread deer, but perhaps I would prefer to spread hares in these nice empty zones. Boosh. Uh, let's get space hotels. That could be our winning condition. Animal spreader, I'll take that. Now, in the capital city, I've been waiting to build this university for God knows how long. Where is it? Catena Junction? I've literally been sitting on this spot here forever. That's another three signs per turn. Uh, fantastic. I will clear a little pathway here. I'll drop an applied science center in here. Uh, we'll do a GMO lab. Boom. Oh, I need to clear the rock first. Yeah, we'll do a GMO lab here and we'll build a couple of food buildings beside that. I'll do another Android hub in here. Let's get another mine going. Boom. Um, can't afford to explore, so I'll have to explore next turn, but I would like to build another spaceport. All right, cool. Uh, boosh. What have we got? Nothing empty. Feels bad, man. Ah, animal spreader. We'll spread some hairs. Perfect. And then we'll recharge the buildings. We're right on the cusp of victory. Two turns until heat goes up. Five turns until the atmosphere goes up. Um, I think I'd like to play a combined living center in here. That's plus nine support. Excellent. We've got 10 expansions in this city. God, jeez. Um, that's a lot of expansions. I suppose we'll take this nitrate mine. Been missing it this whole time. I could still research projects. I've got nothing I really want. I mean, the courthouse is pretty good. I'll take a courthouse in the court of law. And a hydroponics farm. Two hydro farms. Seems good. 
Um, I need more water. So I'm going to stop importing as much tr tritium. I'll let that just be because I need that water big time to get these hydroponic farms going. And we are good to go. Oh, leader panel. Oh, high tech luxuries. Hey, another 25 support income. So we've got Anastasia Dromedo. Five projects, research all projects, convinces the population to become independent, found the new city gains six support per turn if it's the first city in the climate zone, uh, explore location against science, propose two life forms, genetic modification, reduce the rain requirement, oh, or increase oxygen production by plus one for every three oxygen. I think this is the perfect one. We're going to take the life spreader because it's a really good follow up to what we had been doing. Let's gene modify um, one of our plants here. So what's a really hard one? Yeah, if I bring this down to w one rainfall, the temper forest, that makes it so much easier to place. Explore this zone, explore this zone, get a little crater. Uh, let's play the high-tech luxuries. That might actually finish the game. Not quite. We will import oceans. Will that finish the game? Let me have a look. Review situation. So if I import the oceans, all locations, one regional building will be destroyed and the expansion point will return to the city. One location will be disconnected. So I think I need to figure out where that flooding is going to occur here. So I would need to build a dike. If I build a dike there and then do this, it should go through. All locations in flood level three have flooded. Uh, so we have fully oceanified Mars. Um, Mars now has oceans, which is kind of cool. Um... Which is put it on, on the cusp of winning the game. Maybe if I plant some food, we'll get a victory. Oh man, just about, just about. All right, there you go. We have not fully terraformed Mars, but we managed to achieve our goal of terraforming Mars. Satisfactorily, satisfactorily. Um, we managed to beat the the game, like the this mission. Right? It's a, it's a pretty neat little turn-based board gamey thing. Like, and it's got like the visual progression of like Mars has evolved. You know, I don't know. This is something, something very crunchy about it. Something that just feels right about how this game plays. So we, we have achieved our mission. We, we have completed the, oh, I right clicked by accident. And, uh, oh, we unlocked some new things. We unlocked a tier one leader, a tier two leader, and a tier three leader. These guys do some pretty neat stuff. Oh, early gene modification. Very cool early gene mod stuff. Uh, extra resource harvesting, producing thing, urban planning. Then we've got an inspirational explorer. Very cool. Very cool. Oh man, did I level up again? Damn. So we just unlocked, what's this? This is the natural reservation. Plus one support per total prestige. Ooh. It can be played once per climate zone. That's actually really powerful. The natural preserve. A cloud seeding. Uh, increases the climate zone's rain by two. That'd be really useful for spreading um, rainforests. Expansion hub. Expands the city to all explored locations adjacent to this building. They will not generate negative support based on their distance to the city. Okay, that's quite powerful. A way to expand your cities. Very, very cool. Not again. Surely. Oh my god, we leveled up again. We got the dock. You now expand to any ocean location connected to this building's location. This action is free. Wow. Uh, the dock seems good. We've got a water barrage. This must be built in a coastal location. It produces three power. Okay. And then the beach resource must be built in a coastal location. Plus three support per turn per temperature level above zero in this climate zone. Damn. Those are all really powerful abilities. Um, we didn't get another level up. We got rapid expansion. I think we got the highest possible ranking, which is like this purpley, rosy colored rocket symbol. I'm quite happy about that. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching Terraformers. Super fun game. I, um, I don't know. I just really like this one. I thought it was cool. I love games where you terraform planets. I think it's a really fun concept mechanically and gameplay wise. It's got a lot going for it. And there's plenty of content here. Like you can have missions with different goals, right? Like, so we can have a goal of generate a certain amount of resources. Like here, you need to be producing four of every resource, like water, nitrate, silicate, titanium, and tritium. Whereas if you go down here, expansionist, it's just like, you gotta have 80 locations settled in eight different zones. It's just pretty cool, right? Here, you gotta have, uh, spend a thousand of, a total amount of eight hundred science and explore at least 80 locations. So like these are, you know, they're kind of, they're kind of neat. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's just a neat game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.